All right. This might be my worst video yet, but. Uh, I want to say. I went ahead and S SFTP'd it and I grabbed this file out just so I could play with it. I'm trying to get something like too raw or in raw or anything to be able to see if I could figure out what this file is right here. And this is going back to, oh, I have a shell open. I don't know if I can see it anymore. Let me just uh, open it this way real quick. Chat shell, no login, shell. Just put it somewhere where I can still get to everything else and to it. Um, so CD, CDIL, LS, and LS, grab on this I, these test picks. Okay. These are the files before. Maybe I should have. This so we can just see. Well, you can still see the names here, but the file sizes. So I think all these are just the same thing. It's just I kept trying to write. And this is all messed up because when I was trying to write these files, it was always saying zero. And then somehow later on, I noticed they were here. And then I started wondering what that is. So I downloaded it over here. This is, I'm just making this video because I'm not going to save this image and at least I'll be able to go back through what I did because I have no idea how I got these to start working and I have no idea how I got some of this other stuff to start working. So what I did is I just came over here and I started playing with this. I don't know. Maybe I can undo and vim and I'll replay some of the stuff I was doing or not. Maybe I have to redo them. So I had was just playing around and it kind of looked like a thumb so I started drawing a thumb and the more I played with this just trying to see where it could kind of look like what I had sitting there the more I was convinced that it was actually the file I was trying to mess with and I can't undo all my undos like I can do an Emacs but a couple of them so I was just playing around with this file and moving around and at some point maybe in the very very beginning it kind of looked like a thumb pointing up, like right here. So I was like, man, that could be that little hand like a thumb or something. So I came back on the interlist side and I loaded the background images program over here and set it up so I could see these files. And then these two files, let's see which one's this. So then I started editing this file. And then inside this file, I, this just has some, some of the stuff. And then from there, you can click on this. If I was to click on this, oops, like this, let's say this function, because this is a FNS of function, right? And probably like if there's a fetch, it's probably the one I grabbed or something. But anyway, you can meta O or middle click here and say edit. So you can just go start editing that file. So I want to say I started to edit this one, the background.fetch, which I'm so tired I can't even see it. Oh, it's, I actually highlighted the one. Wow. All right. So I, the one I was highlighting, I did. I just came over here, click, clicked it, meta owed it. That brought me over here. And so I started like trying to read through here. Here it's using an hread, which I didn't want to really use. So I went, well, right here, I wanted to know what hread was. I probably closed that window already. So if I click that, I can either meta o or just come over here. And then I could see what a tree was. And I kind of determined that this is just stuff one I didn't want to mess with, but it should more than likely it's some kind of test to see if it's a file it could open. It was so I just got rid of a tree, but with the a tree, I can come back to my history over here and see, I don't know if I was doing this in the, like, I know it's, Horror to be working on the REPL like this in this particular REPL. I can, uh, some other REPLs it's not. But I don't think I could replay what all the stuff that I did. Even though I still don't know, even replaying it, how I got there exactly. So you can see 
I have pulled this, pulled that file in, and got it to be a bitmap at some point, but I, I just can't find out where. And I want to say it's around like 71 ish, 60. So if I hit space or any key, it'll go down. So I'm trying to, then I started trying to mess with pick three, but I never got it to work again. So it's a closed stream. When I try to read bitmap a closed stream, it tells me the stream's closed. Right here, if I test if it's, uh, too bad my mouse isn't inverted, but right here, if I test on line 93, it is a stream, but it's a closed stream. So right here, you can still see it's a closed stream. But then at the end right here, you can see that it looks like it's one of those little bitmap files when I check it. It's just not saying bitmap in front of it. So I'm just, you know, I'm trying to open a stream up rather than an image stream like I was doing before that kept opening a new image stream up and then closing it at the end. Maybe I should just leave it. Well, what I should do is just create a function and not and not probably not be doing this in the REPL, but create a function to do this stuff. So at some point, let's see. Here's like right here on this line, 78. Testing pick is a bitmap. So right there, it's still here, but right here I'm still working on pick three, trying to get pick three to work. But pick two's working. And then I think like I quit checking some of this stuff. Like I'm not testing to see what it is anymore. So I don't know where. Like even right here I said read bitmap testing two dot pick. So maybe I got that to read in there. Maybe I should try that because I don't know if I went back and started trying that. This might be where it actually started working. And then right here it's still pulling it in. Like right here I pulled this in. Anyway. You can see right here it's a still a close stream. I mean at some point I got it to work because it works. And luckily I didn't change pick two. I kept it there. And then before, like, at this point, I'm starting to try to test what some stuff is. Because right here, I was able to, with this right here, so the next line, this is what came in. At the next line on 41, I was able to get pick stream. Or not pick stream, but test pick. Where's my let? Here's my set queue. So testing pick. So I don't know if testing pick. Can I just type testing pick here? Is it still that? I'm hoping it messes one up too. So yeah. Testing picks the file. See the 4040. I was wondering if that was the width and height in that other video. So this is right here. This one. Uh, this line right here got in with hread right here. But I wanted to get rid of hread. I didn't want to use any of that stuff from the background images file. But with hread it came in like this. And at some point in this file, I actually got test pick two to start working correctly. So if I come back over to this one and just uh, say like testing pick two, and this stuff was saved. Like I've restarted this VM. I always, almost always start with a new fresh medley. I don't save my images and the ones I have saved, I've never really used them again. It was just for testing purposes. Just always start fresh just until I get used to stuff. But you can see it's actually a bitmap file. So if I was to say uh, edit BM, uh, testing pick two, and we can pull this thing up. Then here's like a quite a while ago when I just started drawing stuff, it kind of looked like a hand up here, it didn't down here. So I started messing with that. And so I have been able to actually write to the file, I guess at some point with the and what was that called? Like print bitmap, I think. And open image stream are the ones I was using to write it. I just I just never noticed it actually being there whenever I was looking. And then later on, I just saw it was there. So that was kind of a shock. Same thing here when I was working. At some point, I got pick two to start working. But anyway, I guess that's just interesting of going around seeing this function meta owing on that coming over here and then kind of seeing you know like here's what it's taking it's taking a name file name and a mode so and then uh, let's see like around this 
around this area right here is where it's setting a stream. So I don't know. I got it to work. I just don't know. Like here's closing the stream and here's setting the bitmap using hread, which I didn't want to do. So I got it to work without hread. With hread, it came in like this. The other way it came in is a bitmap. I just, I don't know where I did that. So I don't know. It's kind of cool. I'm just going to replay the rest of that so I can go back and watch this one day or just start over. Like, I really want to make videos on something else. I've been wasting too much time messing with this bitmap, especially since I saved it in a list file, but like, I don't want to go around saving all my bitmaps in list files. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ribbit.